Hi, I'm Marion Brenner, and this is Parts of an Expression. Variables are letters that represent unknown values. For example, we have two expressions here. Um, in this expression, we have 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus b. This b is a letter that represents an unknown value. Um, just to put this in some context, maybe a student brings in three candies for their language arts teacher and three candies for their social studies teacher and three candies for their science teacher. And B represents the number of candies that are going to give Ms. Brunner in math class, and we don't know how many they're going to bring. Um, we might take a guess, since there's been three to each of the other teachers, but we all know how Ms. Brunner loves candy, so maybe it will be more. But it's unknown right now. We don't know how many candies are coming to Ms. Brunner. Another uh, type of expression, we have here G minus 10. G could stand for anything. We don't know what it stands for. And um, if we put it in some context, maybe G is your grade. And we don't know what your grade is. But if you turn in an assignment late in English class, they take off 10 points. So your grade minus 10 points for turning it in late. We don't know what this could be. Um, whatever you're going to earn on the assignment. Variables vary. That is, they change. It might be for one student, maybe they were going to get 100 on it, but they turned it in late, so they only got a 90 for their grade. Their grade minus the 10 for turning it in late. If a student was going to get an 85 on the assignment, had they turned it in on time, but they turned it in late, so now their grade is G minus 10, then 85 minus 10 was 75. So this uh, variable, G or B, will vary depending on the context, depending on what the situation is. Variables vary. When we're looking at, at expressions, expressions are made up of terms. And terms are separated in an expression by plus and minus signs. This expression has four terms. We can see 8m squared plus 4n minus 6p plus 8. Three of the terms are variable terms, and one is a constant term. We know these three are variable terms because these are the terms with variables in them. And then since this is just a number, it's going to be constant. It will not change. It does not have a variable. It won't vary because of that variable. So we call it constant. This term, 8m squared, we can see that it is positive because there is no sign out front. And if there's no sign, it's understood to be positive. This 4n is a positive term. This 6p is a negative term, and this constant is a positive term. Most of the expressions we're going to be using this year in sixth grade are of a more simple variety. Uh, variable plus a number. This is two terms. One is a variable term. One's a constant term. Another word we need to know when we're talking about expressions is the word coefficient. And in this expression, 7m, 7 is the coefficient. It is simply the number in front of the variable. That's a coefficient. So if we look at our terms from the expression on the previous slide, we had these terms, these four terms, and three of them that had variables also have coefficients. We have 8 in front of the m squared, we have 4 in front of the n, and negative 6 in front of the p. Those three numbers are considered variables. Now, if there is no number in front of the variable, it's understood that it's 1. For more information about coefficients, terms, variables, and other parts of expressions, visit our classroom wiki at mbrennermath.wikispaces.com forward slash home.